Reducing scope 3 emissions is probably the most important but also the most difficult part of meeting global climate goals. And that's because it requires collaboration and partnership. Scope 1 and 2 is really hard for many sectors, but they are largely within your control as an entity. Scope 3 means that you depend on somebody else to do something that allows the emissions from your value chain to come down. The majority of the emissions uh, in the mining industry are in the product uh, that we produce as an industry and in how it is used in the markets where our customers are and also in, in, in our suppliers and how they supply the inputs that, that we need. But it's very important to get the full picture to really understand what is the strategy then to engage and ultimately reduce those emissions. So if one thinks about industries that have uh, changed dramatically, it's in the use of, of the product. It's only through working with our suppliers, customers and others who have exposure outside of the mining industry can we bring fresh thinking in, combine it with our extensive knowledge of our own industry because it's going to be that level of creativity and new thinking that's needed to solve the challenge of climate change. Our ability to manage and influence our scope 3 emissions is absolutely critical to helping the world achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement. When I think about my family, my children in particular, and I think about you know, the world that I would love them to live in, and I think about all the technologies and all the different business models and all the different dr drastic changes that we need to put in place for scope 3 emissions to go to zero in, in the mining value chain, that world is a world where we have innovated at scale across a number of industries, not only in the mining industry. I would love my children to live in that world. That world is an exciting world. And the only way we're going to do it is by working together.